Hey friends, my name is Stephanie and I'm excited you chose to join me today. Let's start by singing together.
Great job singing. Today, we are gonna hear a parable. Jesus often told parables to help people understand what God is like and how we should live if we wanna follow God. Parables are short stories about everyday objects and familiar situations. Jesus' parables were easy to remember. They made people think for themselves and understand things about God and life. One day, Jesus was speaking to a crowd of people, teaching them about God. Here's what happened. Someone in the crowd spoke to Jesus. Teacher, he said, tell my brother to divide the family property with me. Okay, so this man wanted his brother to give him his share of the things their family owned. Here's how Jesus replied. Friend, who made me a judge or umpire between you? Then he said to them, watch out. Be on guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Then Jesus told a parable or a short story to help the people understand what he was saying. Jesus said, a certain rich man's land produced a very large crop. Look, this man sure was rich. He had so much extra food that he didn't know what to do with it. He thought to himself, what should I do? I don't have any place to store my crops. Then the rich man got an idea. He said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. I'll store my extra grain in them. I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain stored away for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and have a good time. Hmm, this man had so much food that he thought he needed to build even bigger barns than he already had in order to hold it all. But then, Jesus' story took a bit of an unexpected turn. According to Jesus, this is what God said to the rich man. You foolish man, tonight I will take your life away from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Uh-oh. This is how it will be for whoever stores things away from themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. Well, that was not a great ending for Mr. Rich Man, was it? Do you remember why Jesus told the story in the first place? It was because a man had asked Jesus to tell his brother to hand over his share of their family stuff. And do you remember what Jesus said to that man? Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. It's so easy for us to focus on the things we have or the things we really want to have. But Jesus wanted to help people understand that our stuff should never keep us from loving God and loving other people. Everything we have comes from God, so we shouldn't keep our stuff for ourselves. One of the best ways we can show God's love is by sharing what we've been given. That's what we need to remember today, our bottom line. Share what you have. Let's pray and talk to God about that. Dear God, thank you so much for this story Jesus told that reminds us to be willing to share. Help us remember that every good thing we have comes from you. Help us treat others the way we want to be treated and be generous. Instead of trying to hold on to things for ourselves, show us how to be responsible with the things you've given us and use those things to make a difference for other people. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn more about treating others the way we want to be treated by showing responsibility through what we do. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye now.